Hey guys, um, yes, I am sick. You can hear how sick I sound. Do I sound just terrible? Listen to this. So I just wanted to do like a chit chat, get ready with me because I have to get ready anyway. We're going to this amazing light Christmas thing in Washington. Excuse my voice, oh my God. We're going tonight and I want to look bundled and cute because we're going to take a bunch of pictures and yes, I'm already wearing makeup. This isn't like a full get ready for me. Get ready from me? Get ready from me! This isn't a full get ready with me um, like from barefaced to ready. That's because I worked this morning so I'm already dressed and I already have makeup on but I kind of wanted to talk to you about the pieces of makeup that I bought. I went to Sephora yesterday and I purchased two new products and those products were the... YSL Touche Clap Foundation and the NARS Creamy Concealer. Purchased these because <sighs> fucking Sam from Battle Ash said that this was good and everyone in the whole world has said this was really good. Now, I know that I've talked in the past about not believing hyped up products and trying them out for yourself. Well, these are two that I wanted to try because I've heard that this is good for skin that looks that you want to look dewy and fresh and not too much and that this is a super good concealer. All I can say about both of them so far is that I'm wearing them today and I'm having to redo my makeup. Um, the Touche Cla foundation, Touche Cla, Touche Cla, I don't know, I ain't French. This foundation is fine. I'm not gonna lie and say that it's not, I mean, I prefer my color stay, I think, which is so frustrating, so frustrating. It's so frustrating because this shit is like $60 and this is 13. If you're wondering, why the fuck did you spend $60 on a foundation? I didn't. I did not spend $60 on this foundation. I had a return. I returned that Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation that I talked shit about in that video a few videos ago. I had like a $45 credit, so I just used it towards this. I just wanted to try it. I think I'm going to return this. I might just try it one more time, but I think I might return it and try the... Estee Lauder Devil Wear. Not that I really need a new foundation, I'm not gonna lie. My skin is actually pretty good with this. Um, I just wondered, are there are any foundations out there that are really that good? I tested them all on my hand at Sephora when I went and I wasn't a hugely impressed with any of them. They all seemed really thick and really, really full coverage and I don't really need full, 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 full coverage. This is a pretty full coverage foundation, but for being $13, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. Hence why I basically own stock in the Revlon Color Stay Foundation because I can't get enough of this shit. <laughs> but I think I'm going to return this. I don't know if I want to wear this tonight. I don't know if this is going to be the best for the photo for the photos tonight that we're going to take. It is going to be dark so it's going to have to be flash photography and this does have an SPF 19. So I don't really know if this is the best thing. So I don't think I'm going to use this tonight even though you might want to see how it wears. I was just so disappointed. I mean for $60, you think a foundation would have to be pretty baller? I think I'll probably return the concealer too. I mean, fuck, for the fucking price, the uh, MAC Pro Longwear is better. But fortunately, I didn't just take my chances on the NARS Creamy Concealer. I also bought a new MAC Pro Longwear because I had a fucking feeling that I wasn't gonna love this. So, I probably will be returning this because I will close up on my eyes and you can see why. So if you can see how dry and cakey and crumpy, crumpy, well that's a new word, it looks over here underneath my eyes, which I use the NARS Creamy Concealer all here and all here. Now I've blown my nose about 500 times today because I'm so stuffy as you can tell, so my nose has no foundation on it, but as you can see, this is how the um, Touche Claw Foundation is hanging out. Alright, I'm going to use my trusty Revlon color stay because I know that shit's gonna color stay. So fucking irritating to me how things are overhyped. It is so irritating to me. You guys will come to notice that a lot of these products are a fucking letdown and maybe it's just my skin in general but I mean I don't think so. There's no way that every product works for everybody else except for me. It's gotta be that they're lying. I mean not even lying but just being paid to say this. I don't know. I guess you guys could be the judge for yourself, but we all have different skin types and skin tones, so I guess just do what works for you. But if you find what works for you, maybe just stick with that, because I know the color stay works for me. Why am I trying to find something different? Oh, um, I guess we can just chat while I put my makeup on. I 
First and foremost, I'm going to say I do not want any spoilers. I do not want a spoiler. If you tell me what happens in this show, I will fucking murder you. I will seriously be so upset. Please don't ruin my life here. I shouldn't even mention it because you guys are gonna- somebody's gonna fucking ruin it for me. Um, I have been super into- I, okay, because I've been sick and I sat on the couch all day, day before yesterday. I mean, I didn't fucking move. And I really got into Once Upon a Time. Oh my god, that show is so fucking good. I've watched the whole first season. I started the day before yesterday, by the way. I watched the whole first season. And I've just started the second season today. And I think I'm in love. I mean, it is a good show. It is... It's good enough that my husband really thought that it sounded so stupid. And when he walked in the room, he was like, oh my god, really, babe? This is so dumb. And then I see him sitting there and be like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? What's going on? It's like he fucking, he's even getting interested and excited. Like It is such a good show. I mean, they did a good job of captivating you. And speaking of captivating, this is the Tarte Captivating Blush. That was a fucking good segue. This blush is awesome, by the way. Just got it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It gives the most beautiful pink, 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 it's not pink at all. It gives such a beautiful like peachy glow to the cheeks, which is why I'm thinking I want to stick to a nude lip tonight because peachy, rosy cheeks, being out in the cold air, um, looking at Christmas lights with my family, I don't want to like look like a sexy red-lipped sex kitten, you know what I mean? I kind of want to go for like family night look, which I think is more like classic um soft features i'm gonna go for like softer eyes but yes i'm blushing it up quite a bit because i'm gonna be outside at night and every time you get a flash taken flash photo taken it really like drowns out all of your makeup so that's why i'm kind of heavily putting on blush and i'm gonna do like contour and stuff and my brows are really doing quite well today i have sneezed I don't know, like 500 times today? Did I forget to do... I did, I forgot concealer. I still have a little bit left of my old MAC Pro Longwear concealer, so I'm going to use that up, obviously. I can't waste even a drop of this gold. And I should have done my concealer before my blush, but I just totally forgot. Oh no. This is probably not going to turn out very well. So I have some mild eyeshadow on from earlier, but I just kind of want to really blend it out quite a bit. Um, I'm just using Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and a little bit of Beaches and Cream and just running it through the crease just on a big fluffy e Sigma E40 blending brush just to really give myself a good smoke out transition color and then I'm going to go in and do like a neutral cut crease. My Sigma E25 blending brush and some Makeup Geek Latte and just windshield wiper motion that into the crease. God, this voice, my voice just sounds so haggard. Now I'm going to take um, the same brush in Makeup Geek Mocha and just blend that into the crease. Now I'm going to take a little of Makeup Geek Mocha and just run it under the lower lash line with my Sigma pencil brush E30. Then I'm going to take that Sigma E25 blending brush again with a tad bit of Cocoa Bear because I'm just gonna run that under the lower lash line because as I've said in the past, I love a warm color on the lower lash line. A Little bit of contour with Anastasia Contour Kit and Fawn. Fuck my nose. Ugh. So I'm gonna put on some falsies and lips and that's, that's it. And then I will be right back. Alright, so that's that, you guys. I know that my makeup is very glowy. Like, if there was ever a glow in any glow, this is, this is glowy. What I did was I glowed the fuck out of my face, if you couldn't tell. But what I used was, um, I'm wearing some random lashes from House of Lashes. I think they are iconic. I don't think they are, though. Like, in a way, I'm... I'm not convinced that these are iconic lashes. I almost think that they're something else and I put them in this case. That's how I don't know. I got this little Rocky Horror Picture Show case from MAC. Before the glow on my skin, if you're wondering what I used, I used the Balms Mary Luminizer on the bridge of my nose, 
on the high points of my cheeks, on my brow bone, Cupid's bow, nose, and chin area. And then on my lips, like a little bit down the bridge of my nose, a lot on my Cupid's bow and some on my lips, I used Makeup Geek Pigment and Afterglow. Fuck, this shit is good. Look at that glow. Look at that glow. Can you believe that? I'm gonna hashtag Makeup Geek and maybe she'll put this on her shit because damn girl. So that's it guys, I'm going to get ready, get my jacket on, get my shit together and head out the door because we're gonna go see them Christmas lights. I hope you guys liked this video. I know it was really random and chatty and there wasn't a whole lot of makeup stuff going on in it. Oh, and if you want to know what I used on my lips, I am wearing the Vincent wearing the Vincent Longo Coral Cabana sparkly gloss stuff. And then I'm also wearing the NYC Kiss Gloss in Sugar Hill Shine. And then I also put some of that afterglow on top of it so it makes it so fucking glowy. Can you even, can you just... Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys would like to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, those are all at Robbie Christy. and if you would like to, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up so I know what you guys like, and I will see you at my next video. Bye.